Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 5. Today we're going to be talking about Episode 10, so they finally released the second trailer. We're going to be breaking it down. Not going to play at the start of the video because I've been having copyright issues recently with Warner Brothers. So the link will be in the description below so you can watch it on TV Promos' channel. And yeah, and then come back to this video and we'll talk about it right now. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, Please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. So, The Flash is finally back with some new footage. We got some stuff to actually talk about and this trailer is alright. It's nothing too special. Just teases the middle part of the episode. I'm going to be explaining what's going to be happening, why the last trailer was so different from this trailer. It includes none of the same footage and so we'll talk about that all in this video. So, let's break down this trailer shot by shot and talk about everything that's happening. So the first shot of the trailer, we get to see a mysterious woman, and just gonna say this right now, I don't know the names of the characters or the actors who are newly appearing in this promo, but they're going to be in this episode, which is basically a massive homage to Fast and Furious, because the title is literally a homage to that. And so, yes, we get to see this woman, and she's in some sort of facility, and in the voice overlay, they talk about that these people have hijacked and have taken this ridiculously powerful vehicle that they talk about in the trailer. And so you get to see another woman and they're most likely working together and she's got like some sort of weapon on her back or something. So they've broken into somewhere essentially. Just cutting in on the recording. So I just realized whilst I was editing this, the second lady is actually Weather Witch and I, would, and I actually realized later in the video so I just thought I would tell you right at the start if you're thinking oh I've seen all these other videos or people online saying that it's Weather Witch and Ben's like hmm just one lady and then the other lady that I have no idea who they are so yes I don't know who the first woman is but the second woman is in fact Weather Witch who we saw in a prior episode we'll talk about that in a sec once we get to it and we get the cut to Star Labs and they're monitoring from there we see Nora Iris and Caitlin at the monitors they talk about this vehicle and we get to see this vehicle it just looks like sort of like a really amped up kind of James Bond like vehicle that's what I would compare it to and so you see Barry and Barry's like all in a panic because they need to go stop this person and so this is the mid part of the episode and I'll explain what's happening before and what's probably going to happen at the end and so, again, very Fast and Furious like you get inside the warehouse and it seems like they're actually stealing from Argus. So that's most likely where they get this car and this car is most definitely going to be Metatech. And I don't know how they're going to incorporate it, but something about it most likely is Metatech because that's what they're going for this season. And, you know, it links to Cicada and maybe Cicada will be after them, I don't know. So we see this car and it has like blue LED lighting underneath, which is pretty cool. You know, I'm not a big car guy, so this doesn't excite me all too much. And so now we move on and the next shot is like a standoff, a very, very Fast and Furious or Western like shot. Instead of a person, there's a car and you see Nora in the distance and the car opens the front of it up and you see like missiles that are pointing at Nora and in the next shot after you see that you get to see Nora's reaction to this and it's a face of shock and this is because just after this we get to see missiles literally firing at her from a car in the street very very James Bond like so it's really cool you get to see Nora sort of just slowly dodging it in flash time and we see Cisco doing a voice overlay talking about this prototype of a car and most likely it is from Marga so I'm guessing they're probably stealing from there. Then we go into the car, we get a shot of one of the women and she's got glasses on, you know, looking cool like, like she's in a heist film. Then we go to Barry and you see Killer Frost in the background so we're going to see more of Killer Frost. Interesting colouring, don't know about it, it just seems a bit weird. And also sorry for the quality because the promo that was released was just recorded off someone's TV, so it's not like the HD version that the CW would release normally, so, you know, that's why maybe the colours and the dimensions are a bit off. But you get to see Grant as the Flash and you see Caitlyn in the back. And then a car shoots by and you see the Flash after the car, and so, essentially, the police and the Flash and Team Flash, they're all going to be working together in order to stop this. And so this is going to be the sort of middle part of the episode 
the meta of the week and so these villains aren't going to be too big like it's just going to be one episode it's just like two thirds of the episode is going to be about them trying to stop them trying to get this car back because it's extremely dangerous but yeah so now let's talk about like the rest of the episode so the rest of episode 10 when we return late January so we've got a few weeks left until it comes back and so this is the weird thing so the first promo that was released was all about reverse flash and Nora so we ended with that in the Flash's 100th episode, so that was episode 8, the mid-season finale, then we got Elseworlds, and now we're coming to the mid-season premiere. And so, like I mentioned, that trailer had nothing to do with this, so I've been talking to Boba Talks and Pagey online, and we've come to the conclusion that the opening 5 minutes or so is probably going to be all the Nora and Reverse Flash scenes, going to probably continue from that cliffhanger in the Flash's 100th episode, the mid-season finale, and so also a cicada fight which incapacitates most of Team Flash, according to Pagey. Don't know too much about that, but yeah, so the Nora stuff and Reverse Flash stuff that you saw in the trailer with them talking to each other, that's going to be the resolution of what happened at the mid-season finale, and so that's going to be like the first part. So that will give us some information to propel us further on into the season to what's happening with Nora, and then eventually what's going to be happening with Reverse Flash, Eobard Thorn in 2049. So we'll revisit that lots of times, I'm sure. And so the middle portion is the meta with the car. And I just realised whether Witch is actually one of the people that's the villains in this episode. So I wasn't impressed by her before. Hopefully she amps it up this episode. But I really didn't notice that at first. And so Nora locks Barry away, and so that was in the other promo, and so that was a misleading element of that other promo. We were all like, does Barry find out about Nora and then she locks him away? But instead, she probably locks him away and goes solo because of Weather Witch and the other meta. And so she goes solo, loses, and then that's where we get Barry and the others to take down these two metas. And so this is where we came to the conclusion that the last five to ten minutes is going to be what the other part that they teased in the other promo after the mid-season finale and the last five to ten minutes will probably be all the future scenes and most likely a cliffhanger. So essentially what was in the promo before was that we saw Iris in the Flash Museum, we saw a young version of Nora Allen and so maybe some information has prompted them most likely to go to the future and you see Barry and Iris there so the question is I think is it Cisco actually vibing them there to see this moment to see just a couple of minutes or is it they're actually there I do believe they're probably time traveling in my opinion they might be visiting the Flash Museum you know just having a look around and Nora would definitely notice Iris but he sh but she wouldn't notice the Flash so I'm wondering if they have any interactions that could happen, I think that would be a really nice moment. But I think Iris is going to be hiding and I don't know what's happening in the promo when Iris is like kind of shocked and she's in the Flash Museum. So maybe someone finds out and recognizes her. Maybe it is Little Nora. I don't know. But so that should essentially be the structure of the episode. So the opening five minutes, the Nora reverse Flash stuff in 2049. And then the Cicada fight, which incapacitates most Team Flash, the middle portion being the two metas in the car, and Nora locks Barry away and then loses and then everyone helps. And then the last five minutes is probably the future scenes with most likely at the end of the episode a big cliffhanger in order to move forward due to the fact that they're in the future, they want something. So I do believe that's what's going to happen. And so thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you could please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new. Please check out my film channel. I've been doing lots of film videos recently. I talked about Bird Box and I try to explain the ending. So it's similar to what I do on this channel, but also just on film on that channel. So I'm trying to take that off. We've got about 1,100 subscribers. So if you could subscribe and watch the videos, that would mean so much to me. And also, if you guys want to stay up to date with me, follow my Twitter at the DC TV show and also please be sure to subscribe to my movie podcast channel where we talk about films all the latest news in terms of DC Marvel independent films anything really so all of that will be in the link in the description below so anyway guys I will see you guys later goodbye
Cause I'm free.